Felder from Teaspoon of Fun here and today I'm going to bring you another beautiful clean and simple card easy to make just breathtaking I just love the way this came out you can see that it's got some really beautiful layers in there but it's so easy like I said it's just a clean and simple card let's get started it's so easy so what I want to show you is what I'm using here this is a die that we have new in the shop it's from Hero Arts I just love it um, and then what I do is I always uh, make a whole bunch of them, you know, I always do that, and then just save them. Um, so those are the stems and the leaves, and then I have all of my little flowers here along with other small flowers that I have, and I save them in this little container that we have in the shop. Um, it's a great way to organize yours and then just pick and choose when, I, when you need them. Um, I just love organizing them like this. So we'll be taking them from there. And then um, I used this brand new die in the shop again. Also, uh, it's called the pointy, <clears throat> excuse me, the pointy uh, lattice plate. And like I said, it's brand new to the shop. So you want to grab yours before they're all gone. And then to cut my circles, I used um, this right here. This is one of our oval dies. And um, I love this one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the outside pieces and not use the inside pieces. So I'm going to save these um, for a later date because, like I said, I'm always working smarter, not harder. And I will always use these. So just keep them on hand. Don't throw them away. And that's why I use this one. We have a whole bunch of oval dies in there, a bunch of um, different designs on the inside. Um, grab what you want. Um, and then I'm just going to use the plain pieces for this one. All right, so for this one, I used this die right here. It's the second one in from the outer outer layer. All right, so if you want the right size, this piece right here is three and a, three and three quarters by five um, to start with, and then I cut the oval out of that. All right, and that fits beautifully in with this little um, uh, lattice die right here. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to put this right off to the side here. I'm going to start with um, grabbing our uh, foam tape right here let me just clean up my spot first here I was doing a bunch of work uh, a little bit ago and I forgot to clean up so I just wanted to clean up my spot all right now we're clean we're ready to go because remember this is a clean and simple card um, all right so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take this little piece right here and I'm going to take and put some foam tape and some of my foam strips. Okay, so I'm going to do two cards because they're so easy. And it's good to have some on hand. So I'm just going to take and put my uh, crafty foam tape on the top and on the bottom. But because this on the sides are just a little bit narrow for this uh, crafty foam tape, what I'm going to do is... Uh, use my foam strips. So again, I'm doing two cards at once. Okay. And then I'm going to grab my foam strips. Now these are in the shop. They're awesome. They're amazing. And I'm just going to put one, there, and we're going to put one right here, okay, same on this one, and we're almost done with guard, well, not really, but it's going to move right along. 
Okay. All right. Set these aside. We're going to take these off. And we're going to grab this piece right here. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm actually making dimension from here to here. Okay, there's that one. And let's take off these. That's going to go right here. Okay, so we have this right here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit more foam tape. So that this pops up from the card base. All right, so what I'm doing is just literally putting it right over the top of this, and then it never shows on your card. Isn't that pretty, pretty good? Now I'm going to show you one more thing, too. Okay, let's grab our strips here. And they fit perfect right in between these two. All right. I'm just laying them right over the top. Okay. Alrighty, before I add this to my card base, all right, let's take these off. And before we do that, I'm gonna grab, these are my micro squares. And I'm just going to add a few to the middle of this so that the inside does not um, sink in. So I'm going to just take my pick here. And I always try to get the, can you see what I'm doing here? I'm always trying to get the, uh, the little uh, covers off before I put them on here. And then I'm just going to take and put just a couple of them, um, maybe one right here. And one right here. Alrighty. Alright, let's do the other one since we're doing two. Uh, let's do the other one right here. So I'm going to do one right here. should be good okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to add these to our card base right here and I'm just lining up the sides okay there's the first one we'll put that one aside because I'm not going to do the flowers for that one and then we've got all of the stickies off of this one and we'll just add that to this one right here. And we're just lining up the sides. There we go, just like that. Isn't that so pretty? Now, I'm kind of sunken in right here, so I'm just gonna add another one of our little foam squares right underneath one of them. I'll do it to this one right here there and it just pops it back up again you can add as many as you need to but it just looks so so pretty so we're good so far 
Um, and now what we're going to do is we're going to work on our flowers right here. So the first thing that I need to do is to bring in some of my stems and you can uh, you can, you can not stems, but my leaves, you can do as many or as little as you want. And this is the only thing that I colored. Now you can take and color, um, you can take and you can color, uh, or not, you don't have to color. You can take and you can use your, um, colored paper, uh, but I just love to shade. So I'm just going to take, uh, my Copics and just put a base down. Cause I always do that. I always put my light color first. I know I'm in the minority when I do that, but that's just the way I do it. So I'm using G21. I'm going to go in with some G24 and just add some of that to this. Give it a little bit of shading here. Okay, and then I'm going to top it off with some YG67. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is to just go back and blend a little bit, going back to the G24. Blending those two colors together. And doing the same with my G21. We're going to let that one dry. I'm going to go and do the rest of these, and I will be right back. leaves covered we've got our base done and now what we need to do is to do our um, oh no you know what we need to do this little guy too so I'm gonna do the exact same thing I'm gonna start off with the G21 and just finish it up with some of the darker colors bit of G24 here. Not a lot. Just to one side. We're good to go. Go back over with my G21. Smooth it out. colors and we're good to go all right so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to start laying our pieces on here so I'm just going to kind of lay it out first and see where I want everything to go so my flowers I really want to hang off pretty much to the side I'm good there alrighty so let's just take bring back in my I'm using my deluxe adhesive because it's so forgiving. And you'll see I'm not even, I'm not even uh, squeezing it. We do have the larger bottles in stock now, so that's a good thing. Alrighty. Take my tweezers. Okay, and we're just going to lay it back down. There we go. Perfect. All right, now let's just kind of lay these uh, leaves on here. So this is going to be my top one. Uh, this one I think I will put, and there's, there's no rhyme or reason to it. 
All right, I think I'm gonna lay this one underneath here. And then this one, I think I will lay over here. Okay, and this one I'm going to lay, let's see, we'll lay that one right over here. Now this one, I think what I'm going to do to this little guy, and I, I'm not gluing them on yet, okay, for this little guy right here, what I'm going to do is to take my crease tool and just crease it a little bit. I'm just creasing this way down here at the bottom and then this way up here at the top so when I do go to lay it on there it's going to have a little bit more dimension all right so let's go back with our glue and slide these pieces in okay so I'm just going to put a little bit on this side and this side slide this Pull out our retractable knife, lift that up, stick it right about there. Okay, and it's going to go underneath there. See how I'm, I'm manipulating things with this little, this little guy right here? So I wanted it to go over this little lip right there. That was perfect. Alrighty, so now what we got to do is do this bottom piece right here. So I'm gonna take this off, put a little bit right here on the bottom. Always putting your top back onto your glue. Okay, we're gonna add that to the bottom right here. Put that underneath there so that, the reason I'm doing that is because I want the, um, the flower to show up over the green piece. I'm bringing that out to the edge right there. Now for this one, I'm going to lay it, um, I'm going to put this one on first, okay? So I think I'll put that adhesive. And we can manipulate this a little bit more after we get it all put together. Okay, there's my glue. I'm right-handed here. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to put this right underneath here like this. And we're just going to let that set for a little bit. And then this piece is going to cover up all of the pieces down below. So I want some adhesive right here. Now the reason I like using the um, deluxe adhesive is because we can kind of manipulate things um, before they all dry out. I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive underneath here again. There's that, and this little guy right here. And what that does is it just kind of puts all of these together. I'm gonna just kind of push this around a little bit. Good, there we go. All right, I'm just gonna let this dry just for a second. I can actually put this on here. Now, what I'm gonna do is grab, I'm gonna show you this card right here. I'm going to grab my little case right here and we're going to start putting in some of our flowers. All right. So what I'm going to do is take a bunch of these out. I'm going to grab one of my, because I have so many of them here. I'm going to just grab one of my uh, pickers. Okay. And this is the way I'm going to pick up these little guys right here. All right, before I do that, I'm going to take my retractable pick, put it out kind of far, and then just roll these around. So let's say I'm going to do one, two, three, four of these. So I'm going to just grab one, two, three, and four. All right, the rest of them I'm going to put back in. There. Okay, now I'm just going to take my adhesive. This is how easy this is, guys. Okay, I'm going to put a dot of it right here. 
That's where my one flower is going to go. Put one right here. That's where another one's going to go. And then I will put one eh, maybe right here. Okay. And then I will put one maybe right here. Okay. So these are just the little buds. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick them up with my little picker. Okay, and just drop them where they need to go. Okay, and it's picking up the adhesive that's already on the little stem. Okay, and here's one right here. Isn't this so pretty and so easy to make? Okay, and Here's this one, we'll put right here where that other piece of glue is. Alrighty, so those are just the little buds. Now what we're gonna do is the ones that don't have the little design in the middle. So I'll take and I'll do, let's see, one, two, three, four, maybe five, okay? So we're gonna take five of these, put this one back, one, two, three, Four and grab this one with my, my, here we go. All right, now what you're gonna see is that these have a little slit in them and you don't wanna give up any of the design, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my little picker, I'm gonna make sure that this is open, okay? See how I just opened it up a little bit and then just roll it with my picker. And you wanna make sure that this is out farther than normal so that you can do all of this um, rolling and um, inserting and it just it works so good. I love my retractable pick. Okay, making sure that that little opening is going down. Okay, there's two. And there's no set amount of, of flowers. You can do whatever you want. You can design it whatever way you want. But this is a very fast card, but it's so, so pretty. We've already sold so many of this little, um, I think these are, uh, Lily of the Valleys? Are these Lily of the Valleys? I think so. Let me take a look here. Yep, Lily of the Valley. Okay, make sure that middle is open and you give it a little curl. Okay, there we go. Alrighty, now we're going to pick one, two, three, four, five spots for these little guys and just add our adhesive. So there's one. Okay, make sure you get enough glue on there. And we're gonna do another one right here. Okay, Oop. it's a big glob, okay. We'll do one here. How many that? One, two, three. And uh, let's do one over here, four. And yeah, that's it for now. Let's see what we do. In a little bit okay alrighty we're gonna pick that one up and we're gonna drop it on this one and pick up another one right there pick up another one here's one over here and oh, here's one over here Okay. Now, let's take some of the ones that have that beautiful design in there. And I still have another one that I can use if I need to. One, two, let's see how many I have. One, two, three that are left. But I'll show you. So these right here are the same. You want to make sure that you get that little opening right there. Okay. And it just brings out those little, those cute little, designs on the inside. Okay, and here's a third one. Now, when you're cutting them out, I cut out two at once. I don't know if you're supposed to do that or not, but I cut out two at once. So what I mean by that is I put two pieces of paper together and I run them through. When I cut mine apart, okay, I used my 
in the shop we have these um, amazing little clippers all right so I cut mine apart but if you notice on mine the only two things that I cut apart were these two and the reason I cut these two off is because they were inside here and you don't want holes in your leaves so I left these on and I left all of my leaves on so that when you're putting them um, through your die cutting machine I'm going to tell you right now it is so easy and you get so many and there's so little work all right so that's what you want to do. Now we're going to take our adhesive and add it to the <clears throat> pieces that are left. And I think I have one down here. Okay. And. Here's this one, and oh, let's use the bigger side. Okay, and here's this one, and this is where you can get kind of crafty here. I'm going to take this one off. That's why I love this glue, and I'm going to put this one here which is what I think it was meant to be in the first place. Okay. I have a lot of static electricity here today. Alrighty, so I think that, let's use a little pick here. And I'm gonna pick this up. There we go. And put my leaf under these. That's why I said you don't want to do too much um, gluing yet um, for the leaves because we want to take and manipulate it um, after we get our flowers on there. So now it actually raised right up and um, I just love the dimension on this. All right, so now I can just kind of play with what I need to play with and that's my card. So then what I do, again, working smarter, not harder, is in my warm and fuzzies, and we only have a few left of these in the shop. I love this one. I already stamped a bunch of these. Well, again, working smarter, not harder. Um, I think I'll use this one right here. So I'm going to just take um, my scissors and just cut off. Because they're so straight, we're just going to take and cut. Our little saying and we're gonna put it right here okay so what I need to do this is where I'm uh, that's why I, I just kind of play with it for a while I'm gonna take and I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive right here okay but I need to raise up the other side so what I'm gonna do is to take one of my micro squares and I probably don't need a micro square but I've got them out so I'm going to use one of my micro squares right here on this side. Let's take off the tops. Goodness. Oh, I took the whole thing right off. That's why I like to take the tops off right here and put it on. And then you're good to go. Okay. I think I have the top off of that one. Yep. Alrighty, so now decide where you want to place it and set it right down. Now you see how this one brings this up to, to, to this level right here? That works out perfect. Alrighty, let's make sure it's straight. And I'm doing that on this side because this is the side that has the um, adhesive. And now what I'm going to do is to grab some of my... Um, he said, well, put a little dot of it right here. Okay, and to finish this off. Now, another thing that you can do to this that would work really pretty is to um, put a little bit of Wink of Stella on there. Oh, that would look so pretty and nice and shiny and beautiful. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm taking my um, fairy drops, and I always keep this in here so that I know 
I can tell you what they are. They're fairy drops. Okay. I'm going to pour a bunch of them in here because I don't know what size I want. And these come in so many adorable little sizes. I'm going to take and put a dot of my adhesive um, right here. Let's see. Uh, where do I want to put it? I can even put it on one of my flowers, but I think I'll put it right here. Okay. You can use crystal glaze or this glue dries clear, so we're good to go. And I don't want one of the bigger ones. I think I'm going to go for one of, let me see. Uh, do I want one of the big ones? I don't think so. Let's see. Let's turn that over like that. Pick it up and drop it down. There we go. Isn't that so pretty? And that's your card. It's a mess here too, but that's my card. These are so fast and so pretty. And I have, I actually have one and a half made. I'm just going to um, put together my leaves, put together my, my, um, my little uh, flowers on there. And I might leave the saying off and then use it when I need to. But look at the dimension on this card. Look at how absolutely beautiful it is. I hope you enjoyed my post for today. Remember, we're with Teaspoon of Fun. You can um, get to our shop by clicking on the little eye above, or if you want to look um, below, um, we have it in the description, or you can just Google Teaspoon of Fun and you can find us there. Um, we have a beautiful website. Hop on over, take a look around, make sure you share this with your friends, and have a good day. Thank you. Thank you.